Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Tower of God episode number 5. Now, in the previous episode uh, we got to see the Kuhn, uh, Rak and uh, Yodu get uh, the throne. They got the throne uh, and uh, they're currently on the throne. And uh, I think they would be pitted against Rahel's team because they were getting ready to fight and uh, yeah that, that would be a quite interesting battle like uh, i'm really curious to see what uh, rahel has to say uh, coming face to face with yoru and what yoru has to say and um, also in the previous episode we saw that we got a little bit of information about the uh, month series the 13 month series and uh, the lizard girl's uh, uh, weapon and that was the green April I think yeah the green April uh, was uh, reacting to black March's uh, presence so all of that would probably get uh, later on as the series goes on uh, so yeah without further ado let's get started with episode number five of Tower of God okay I'll be giving the subtitles and the timer over here sync it to which of your preference and uh, let's get started I'll be starting the countdown three two one go this is one of the top openings uh, not this season the previous season that is spring I think spring 2020 animes I don't know if like uh, if uh, season 2 is not announced I'll let's check it out I'd probably start the manga of Tower of God because like I'm really liking this story like uh, it's building up to something and I can I, I know that uh, I, I've heard that it is extremely good this manga is extremely good but uh, I don't know I, I might start the manga I really don't know I'll, I'll see about that because I want to continue the story like Season 1 is like 12 or 13 episodes, that's really short. And here it is. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. yeah yeah that that's w okay now <laughs> he duplicates things is that his power like making fakes yeah yeah oh yeah that previously also yeah he did that yeah okay so that's his power Okay, we got that. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's was and here he is. <laughs> Rock. Woo! Damn, with the the wind force itself was so strong. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, they're not listening. 
<laughs> Let's see. I, I think Rahel will come now. And I'm guessing this is a princess of Jahad as well, like another one of the princess. Okay, so the stalling. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's a new look. And he and his chocolates. <laughs> yeah, you can like make it. <laughs> yeah. Back that what? Uh, hmm. Okay, let's see who's coming now. <clears throat> Who is coming now? Are these like more? Oh my god, that's a Pokemon. Yes, Dameda. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the face he makes yeah suggestion oh okay They'll black backstab each other later on, like <laughs> Well Um Red hair Okay, who is this? Some kind of... She spoke some kind of alien language. Well... What? Okay, I'm confused. What? My God, okay, that's pretty clever. Okay, okay, ah, uh. <laughs> deceive uh, your allies before deceiving the enemy. Yeah, more chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm.
Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, he, they want two rounds, so. Okay. Okay, here they are. Okay, now this will be something to watch. And here it is. Yeah, that is Rahel. Okay, let's see. This will be pretty tough. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Damn, this guy's like. That's a girl. Okay, I didn't notice that. Okay, he's like she's uh she's like Damn. Oh my. She's pretty nimble, like yeah. Damn, that must have hurt. And here she. Okay, why is. <laughs> okay, she is helping him? Alright, like. Yeah. Okay, um. Um, why did you... Wait... Wait a second, like they said that... Uh, are we... we can... can we kill them? Like... What was that about? Yeah, they like saving them, but why did she said before that I can I kill them and Rahel said yes? Oh, they, she must have. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my god, that is scary. Okay. Well, uh, that's a help. Yeah, that's a great help. Yeah. Okay. Damn. 
um, <laughs> spirit violent, calm down. I don't think so. Like she must have had some some other plan. Okay. Oh God, her shoe. Oh my God. Oh God. Okay, he's here. Um, he is pretty slow because of his size okay at least rahel is here oh my god and he sees oh no oh my god um please don't lose this no oh okay Um, I think he should probably stop now, like, he's bleeding. Wait, what's happening? Wait a second! Okay, what is this? Like, God damn, that's not Black March, is it? No, Shinsu, he can use that. It's like golden. Wow. Okay. Uh. Oh my Okay He's lost control Yeah Okay Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> Was he playing PSP? Some new characters here. Wow, he is huge, like hmm. Um, is it a tie like something? Oh yeah, without a winner, yep. Okay, like ah Damn. Okay. <laughs> What's that? Oh, co co coffee. Okay. Coffee me. Um. <laughs> they have instant coffee as well? Wow. Hmm. Want. What's want? To move from 
Um, okay, I'm confused a bit. Okay. Hmm, yeah, that, that is Rahel and... Oh, is that so? And that was an accident like he didn't do it purposefully yeah Irregular, yeah. Yoru's an irregular as well, so. At least she's like showing her face now. Okay. Well, I was not expecting Rahel to uh, disclose her identity so quick. Like, uh, I was like expecting thing like uh, in the what ninth or tenth episode for her to show her face but like uh, this was like uh, you can't do anything to stop that because she kind of like got hurt and that's why the hoot came out Okay guys, uh, that was the episode number 5 of Tower of God. Now, few things to talk about. First of all, um, the thing was that, uh, uh, just a sec, let me see. Uh, 
yeah the main thing that i have to talk about here is that uh yoru's power like uh that shinsu mm, leroro said as well uh, <laughs> it's like his name is like a tongue twister uh, Le leroro or whatever leroro Le leroro uh, said that um he became the shinsu himself like people are able uh, like we saw the other contestants some of them were able to uh, bring out shinsu but he himself became the shinsu like uh, his uh, as we can see that the color of that water was also like uh, golden and everything and uh, black march came out and said that he went out of control and um, i don't know what that means but that probably means something like uh, he be like what what should we call it like okay uh, let me let me say, uh, say something there like uh, yoru was underground and uh, uh, Rahel found him and uh, like taught him everything like uh, we're thinking that Yoru is uh, like these like, let me get this straight these are all my guesses and like these are some wild guesses and I'm, I'm like shooting my arrows here and there they might not reach the target at all but still I'm shooting it like uh, I'm guessing that Yoru like here we can see that Yoru is a human being but I'm guessing that Yoru is not like a proper human being or something he must be some kind of like uh, like what do you call it that uh, Leroro said that he became the Shinsu himself so I'm thinking that if he is more towards that kind of thing like he's some kind of power itself but not a human being himself like he's not a human being but he is the power itself that uh, the divine power whatever that is like the Shinsu and itself and <laughs> like this is a complete wild guess and I, I myself know that this is pretty like what you call it far-fetched but still like uh, there are many things that are quite uh, like uh, that kind of like uh, point towards uh, like that that he is not completely like a human or something like he must be something different and uh, for, first of all it's like he was underground like uh, we don't know his past or nothing about it uh, neither does he I, I doubt that he knows anything about his past like if asked if he was asked like what you did before uh, you were uh, underground at that place before meeting Rahel, I doubt he would be able to answer that properly because uh, I don't think that he himself knows that. And um, she, uh, like uh, that's why I was thinking like uh, he might not be uh, like a human or something uh, or different something else or he might like be some uh, kind of uh, extremely he must have been some kind of extremely powerful warrior or something like that but he lost his memory and he was like sealed inside or something <laughs> now I'm, I'm going completely like like uh, i don't know <laughs> these are like all wild guesses and i doubt that this one of uh, even one of them will kind of like hit its mark i doubt it but still like i'm thinking like in, uh, in these kind of things and um, yeah like uh, like uh, the, the thing that made me think of this like uh, leros uh, uh, what Lero said that uh, he became the Shinsu himself now that might be like a new power I don't know but still and um, we got to know a little bit about Kun's power like uh, he copies everything that's a pretty handy skill and uh, yeah mm, like uh, uh, like what what can I say his power is pretty intriguing like uh, like uh, let me say one thing that he was like betrayed by his uh, what was his half sister wasn't it yeah his half sister so like his power like is like bluntly speaking his power is making fakes of something of an original making fakes and it's pretty funny and like ironic to like uh, think that his power is like making fakes and he himself was like uh, betrayed uh, and uh, like something like that like uh, I don't know like and this is uh, a bit, bit much ironic like uh, <laughs> the thing that he makes that is uh, like uh, like the two things like kind of correlate to each other like uh, him, him being betrayed and him being able to make fakes and everything like uh, I'm saying that uh, like I'm saying this uh, only at the, the uh, knowing uh, the, the half the story like we only know that he was betrayed and we don't know about the other parties prop, uh, like uh, Standing what they were going through when the betrayed him was re she really someone bad 
and uh, did uh, betray him at uh, like what you call it uh, without any uh, like uh, did she really betray him uh, like what do you call that uh, like uh, did she really betray him knowingly like uh, she knew that yeah I'm going to betray him like uh, th through the bat of his uh, heart or was it something that inevitable like she had to betray him because of something else some problem like uh, I don't know anything about that but still I'm uh, just uh, saying that <laughs> like uh, him being able to make make fakes and uh, he himself being betrayed was is quite like cor correlated and it's quite funny to s see that the, his power greatly resembles his past and um, uh, what else like uh, oh uh, another thing like uh, we got a bit like uh, I got a bit con concerned about Rahil's intentions like he was she was saying like uh, uh, like the other girl was asking her that uh, should I kill them and he she said yeah now I'm thinking that she was talking about the other parties here not about your so they, they must be talking about uh, the uh, people that they faced that the enemies not the Yoru team so yeah that was kind of cleared out here and um, yeah I'm glad that uh, like a little bit of like <laughs> sneaking bit of suspicion came into my mind like uh, was Rahel like uh, using Yoru or something like that for uh, something else like uh, I don't know like as Kuhn previously thought that uh, like uh, she uh, might be using him like he was used so I'm glad that that is cleared out now like um, we can definitely see that Rahel cares about uh, Yoru like when Yoru got her hit in his uh, head uh, she became concerned and everything like yeah definitely like uh, you that like these two guys uh, people uh, spent together a lot, lot of time like they were like uh, Rahel only had uh, uh, like uh, contact with Yoru for a little bit of time but still she is like the person who taught Yoru everything so uh, she must care for Yoru and uh, like uh, I was a bit uh, like <laughs> concerned before but now it's kind of okay and we can see that uh, and Rahel also uh, showed his uh, her face so no secrets nothing more and everything is uh, like okay now and we'll probably get to know him, uh, Rahel's intentions later on like she must have had something when she uh, suddenly started climbing the tower and uh, yeah without saying anything to Yoru um uh, that was pretty like uh this episode was good in that way like it cleared that thing out and we got a little bit of yuri uh a little bit of yuri a scene with yuri and we saw that she's like climbing uh, just just so that she can meet <laughs> yoru again <laughs> and um and uh, yeah uh, another thing is that uh, the the thing that they said that harm to the tower that was just an accident i think and black march kind of came to stop him so uh, i doubt like uh, if things like this again happen black march would probably uh, save yoru again and uh, that was quite a cool power like she, she came out and like the time kind of stopped and <laughs> she kind of kissed him in the cheek and she be he became calm <laughs> and uh, okay now I, and here is one thing like uh, Lerolo says that have you ever seen someone who hasn't formed a contract with an administrator but still able to uh, use the uh, Shinsu without any constraints and uh, they, uh, they said um, that you take Mazino and irregular so like you have to make a contract to make uh, to use Shinsu so okay that's something that we knew uh, like uh, like that's something that is new and uh, what else was here um, uh, nothing more I think yeah that was oh and another thing was that um, no three, uh, three uh, players that uh, Kuhn kind of like recruited before that was pretty clever of him like uh, I was not expecting that like he was like ready to like even if uh, like he's as he said that uh, I didn't know that we would be making teams so I kind of made a team before so that they can help me whenever I'm in trouble so yeah that was quite uh, a wise thing to do and he saved those guys and they helped them so that's a pretty like good way 
and um, yeah that is it I think um, is there something else no no and we got to see a few ca new characters uh, with Yuri and uh, that girl got like his her eye scr uh, like scratched out and that is that must be pretty painful like I don't know if she kind of holds a grudge for uh, towards Yoru because of that if she will be holding a grudge towards him but like that was like he did it uh, unconsciously and nothing you can do about that and to be fair like he, she also liked uh, what do you call it um, uh, hit Yoru as well and Rahel as well and all the other characters as well like he was like she was like going bum 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 and <laughs> and hitting each and everyone's heads and <laughs> they were falling down and so yeah like you are uh, hitting someone so you should probably she probably should not get angry at others for hitting her but still like a, an eye is an important part still so i think she might uh, like hold a little grudge against yoru because of that but I hope that she gets fine, like her eye gets better. Okay, thank, thanks for watching guys and that was this episode. And uh, like uh, this episode showed us Yoru's power. Like I was saying from the past couple of episodes that Yoru must have been a little, uh, really powerful. And we got to see that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button. Uh, and uh, subscribe if you haven't or you're new to the channel and comment down below your opinions about this episode anything that you want to share and uh, i'll see you guys with the next episode of tower of god in the next week uh, until then goodbye and have a nice day